Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about beaver style baits and in particular the Six Sense Prawn. That thing is super versatile. Beaver style baits like the Six Sense Prawn are incredibly versatile and we're going to talk about a bunch of different techniques specifically that I have used with the prawn to catch fish. That thing flat out catches them in various different ways. I'm talking about Carolina rigs, Texas rigs, you can use it as a jig trailer, swim jig trailer, chatterbait trailer, all kinds of different stuff and we're going to go through each and every single one today in the video. There we go. There we go, Carolina rig fish. Smoked it. Smoked it. On the prawn too. The first technique I want to talk to you guys about with the prawn is as a Carolina rig bait. Now typically you're not using a beaver style bait as a Carolina rig bait, but I feel like there's certain times where those bigger baits like a hog waller or something like that aren't getting the strikes and you need something more compact like a prawn. I use the hog walla primarily as a Carolina rig bait, but there's a lot of times where I use that prawn in its place when that hog wall is no longer getting bit. It's a little bit more compact, it's shorter, it's smaller. I just think sometimes that is the key to get those strikes when the hog walla or another style creature bait like that doesn't get bit. You switch over, you get that more compact, different profile, a little bit less action, and that's when those fish bite. So the next thing when we're talking about the prawn obviously is a Texas rig. There we go. There's one. On the prawn. Texas rig prawn. Up shallow. You can't go wrong Texas rigging a beaver style bait. And when I say Texas rig, I'm not talking about pitching or flipping it right now. What I'm talking about is casting it out, fishing it just like a worm. The beaver is going to mimic crawdads really, really well. It's going to give off a little bit less action because those flaps aren't flapping like a double tail grub or a double tail style bait like a stroker craw. Sometimes that subtlety is what the fish want. So rigging that thing up with you know, four out hook, a light Texas rig weight, or casting that thing around and just dragging it through brush, dragging it through the grass, dragging it over rocks can be a really great way to catch them. I was doing that on one of my recent trips, fishing it through brush. I think I had the three eighth ounce weight on there, casting it out, working it back to the boat, just like you would a Texas rig worm or something like that. So Texas rigging that prawn is also a great way to catch them. Guys, so one thing that I've noticed as I've been out here fishing today is that my sunglasses have come in key. Being able to see those different grass patches, being able to see submerged wood, being able to see those rocks, maybe some dead tulies or something like that is giving me an indication of where these fish might be positioned. Now the fishing's been tough for us today, but having a good quality pair of sunglasses like a pair of waterling, water lens are gonna help you be able to catch more fish. Seeing some of those things are gonna give you an edge over other people that aren't wearing quality sunglasses. So head over to waterlingco.com, use my discount code LUNA15, it's gonna save you 15% off your order and they have free shipping over $50 or $75, I'm not exactly sure, but waterlingco.com, use my discount code LUNA15. So another way to fish the prawn that is just awesome is flipping it. I've been doing it a little bit today, but I just don't feel like that flip bite is going very well for us. We've had a couple bites, but nothing that really committed or anything like that. But flipping and punching a prawn is awesome. I've done it here at the river. I've done it here at the Delta, but flipping and punching a prawn is awesome. It gets in and out of the cover really, really well because it has that sleek, slender profile. The beaver style baits as well with those claws on the end of them don't get wrapped around toolies or anything like that. They're just very efficient. And when you're flipping and punching and stuff, you want to be as efficient as possible because when you're not efficient, you end up wrapping it around a reed or wrapping it around a bush or something like that. And you're getting less cast than you could when your bait's getting in and out of that cover effectively. So being able to fish a bait like the prawn that gets in and out of that co cover is just going to get you more bites. It's going to get you more cast, which is going to give you more opportunities to catch more fish. There we go. Got one on the jig. There we go. That's barely, barely a bite. Another great use for the prawn is as a jig trailer. It pairs up with the Divine jig very, very well, the Divine hybrid jig. You can use it as a swim jig trailer as well. You just want to rig it vertical because it's going to give it like more of like that bluegill kind of a look. 
those uh, pinchers on the end really have a decent little action when you have it on a swim jig. Kind of gives it a nice little wobble in the back. But cutting it down, putting it on the ball head finesse jig is another awesome way to do it. I sometimes like to cut down the full size beaver style baits in order to have the larger claws, the larger pinchers, but a smaller body, smaller profile to fit on those smaller jigs. And that's definitely something you can do with the prawn on a jig as a trailer. The final technique that we're gonna talk about with the prawn is as a chatterbait trailer. There's one, there's one on it. Here at the river where I'm at today fishing, I've used the prawn as a chatterbait trailer and it worked really, really well. I was still able to skip the chatterbait and like I was talking about with the swim jig, you wanna rig it vertical so the tail is up and down and not flat. It gives it more of that traditional bluegill kind of a look, that shad kind of a look, and then you get that back and forth motion from the tails while you're fishing it and with that vibration of the chatterbait. That's not a typical thing that you're gonna be using a prawn for, but if you have a favorite trailer that you like, you run out of them, it's definitely an option for you. It's something that you can do with those beaver style baits and the prawn in particular. It's actually a great size for your ja your jackhammer chatter baits and stuff like that. It really pairs up with it well with the 4.2 inch size of the prawn. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video on all the different ways to fish a six cents prawn. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new about the prawn, gave you some new ideas on how to fish it. If you guys wanna go and get some of these for yourself, head over to the six cents website use my discount code LUNA10. Links and discount codes are going to be down in the description of today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!